20초 남았습니다. Welcome back to the show, everyone. The time is now 10.33 on the clock here in beautiful Busan. You are tuned in to On The Road Busan on 90.5, 103.3 FM. This is BEFM. Busan Yungo Bangsung Imida. Bangap Simida. It's Wednesday, the 16th of December, which means it's time for Busan Insa Talk, which is the short special talk show segment with me, Laura McClucky, where we invite people who want to talk about their own Busan stories, their favorite places in Busan, tips to enjoy Busan, and also about their Busan Do Chubu, Content. So let's give a warm welcome to our guest today. Good morning. Hello. Son 선생님. Yes. Han 선생님. Son. High five. Yeah. We've got a Wi Fi this. We've got a Wi Fi. Fist bump Wi Fi. How are you? Introduce yourself to our listeners, please. Okay. Hello. I'm Dexter from Busan. Um, I love to learn and share the language and culture. So I'm sharing and learning Korean stuff as my job. Mm. I love it. So you are actually a uh, nochuba, yeah. which is very exciting. But you have another job. You're a, a teacher sure. of Korean. Yeah. So what would you teach me then? What would you like to teach me today? <laughs> to you? Yes. Teach uh, me something, Dexter. Something name. Uh, okay. So what else? Like, uh, yeah. After, after another question, I will tell you some tips. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we got to get on with it. Sure. I like it. He's strict. I like that. Keeping me in check. That makes <laughs> sense. So you are teaching Korean to international uh, international travelers or foreign immigrants yeah. into Korea. How did you start that? Anyway, I like your vocabulary international anyway, because in Korea, we use foreigner as mm. daily life. And mm-hmm. officially, we use foreigner. But yeah, I love your vocabulary international. It sounds better. Yeah, I hate so. the word foreigner. Yeah, like, but... It's <laughs> like, I'm Korean. I'm Korean. I'm Busan. Yeah, mm. yeah so. it's, it's important. Language is important, right? Sure. Mm. So... Yeah, and well, I thought English in high school because I like English, but I realized that in this educational system, English is nothing more than just test tool yeah. rather than communicate methods. Mm-hmm. So it is too difficult to enjoy as language itself. So I changed my subject English into Korean and replaced ah. students from Korean into non-Korean. Ah. And I like it. I enjoy it. That's really cool. Yeah, I think that's such an important point. I used to teach English yeah. um, to university students, and some of them had very, very, very high scores, but they could not make a sentence. Sure. So they could read, they could write, they could do all these grammar problems, but they couldn't talk with me in a conversation. Yeah. So language is so much more about the communication. It's about body language. It's about intonation sure. and, and all that kind of stuff. So that's very cool. I love that you've decided to do that. Thank you. Okay. So then I'm going to take you back to my original question. What is your Korean study tip? If you're going <laughs> to, if you're going to teach us something, something name. What about to our international listeners who want to learn more about Korean and study Korean a bit better? What would be your tip for them? Okay, so well, for the general, I think students need to find their own pleasure point. Mm. Like for me, I'm so happy when I'm listening to and understand hip hop of America. Ah. But yeah, that would be some general tips. And mm-hmm. for the English speaker, here's one tip. You need to be careful when you speak a pronunciation. Mm. For example, in English, whether all light or all light, there's mm. no meaning difference, whether mm-hmm. I might say or or or. But in Korean, there is bit, there is difference between all and all. Mm. The all is yes and all is number five. So mm. a sound is, <laughs> and usually English speaker make a mistake about it. Well, it's really interesting because it depends on where you're from. For example, I'm from Scotland. So when oh, I say a, yeah. it's a. So I can say Busan and that is my accent. Yeah. But my North American friends would say Busan. Yeah. San. Hey, I live in Busan. <laughs> San. You got the Busan body, Mika. So yeah, very important. Ooh, interesting. Okay. So let's get into your content. You have a Nochub tenor. Yeah. So tell us more about your Nochub tenor. 
Yeah, so I started not to when I was in Thailand as a Korean teacher mm-hmm. because I want to record my teaching and travel story. And now I am uploading about job as Korean teacher and the reality of it. Mm. But yeah, that is too much heavy topic and not a feel for everyone. So I'm going to uploading about Busan travel story. And first thing is the origin name of Heunde. Ah. So yeah, as a result, my channel is about job as Korean teacher for Korean teachers and travel story to the international travelers. Mm. So I know the uh, the name of Korea. I mean, the name of uh, Hyundai, Taecheon. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I love that. I studied all about him as well. He went to China when he was really young and he sure. did the magistrate's exam in like yeah, half yeah. the time. Mm? Super smart. <laughs> yeah, sure. Great job. Such a good, such a, such a wonderful story. I love that you're teaching about history because that's something that as a, an international resident here, yeah. we often find it difficult to get that kind of deep historical information in English. Yeah, sure. And it's really interesting, really interesting. All right, do we have a do we have a clip? I hear we have a clip of your channel, so let's take a listen and we'll come back and chat sure. more. Mr. Che, who made the name Heunde, wasn't born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Funny factor is that at that time, family levels is classified by bone. Yes, your bone, noble bones, genuine bones and the others. And Mr. Che is not noble, not genuine. He was the others. Sadly, or luckily, he had brilliant ideas and great ability in his study. So he went to China to study more and he got a number one prize in his age 12. Wow. After learning abroad, when he came back to his country, he dreamed of Great Korea Peninsula. But the reality is quite different. At that time, his country is too much ruined and corrupted. So the country never cared this young brilliant scholar. Whatever he suggests for his country, the country never considered. Think about it, how sad he is. Whatever you do, everyone ignores you just because of your family background. When everything did not go as he intended, he lamented his unfortunate situation and never think about governing country again. It was only travel that healed him. Heunde made him forget about his agony and resentment while giving him fantastic views. Yes, nice clip from your YouTube channel there. I love it. Ah, So I saw your videos and... Unlike other videos that we've mm. seen, because you are a Viba, you're a, a Visit yeah. Busan ambassador sure. as well. So unlike other videos, yours are shot indoors. Yeah. Most of our guests who shoot videos are outside. They're taking videos of the scenery, the travel spots, etc. So here's the question. When you're making this video about Busan mm. and you want to make it interesting and exciting, but you're inside... What are some things that you have to consider when you're shooting indoors compared to outdoors? So first of all is COVID-19 yeah. because it is not time for travel here and there. Mm. So that is the first reason. And second reason is I want to deliver some story in the place. So indoor video is more appropriate, mm. I suppose. But when this COVID-19 is end up, I want to deliver story in that place with beautiful scenes. Yeah, I think that would be really cool. You going up to Dongbaek's home yeah. and then going up to the Chechiwon monument and, and sure, you know, sure. making a video yeah. there. Yeah, that would be Thank super cool. Thank you for cool. your ideas. Uh, that's not my idea. It's just, <laughs> just, <laughs> just for example. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, so what about traveling then? You said you started Notubu when you were in Thailand mm-hmm. as a Korean teacher. So do you like traveling? Of course, COVID-19, we can't at the moment. But yeah. do you like traveling? And which do you prefer to go to? A planned trip or an unplanned trip? Final question. What countries have you been to before? So first of all, which type am I look like? Uh, yes, you like traveling. Yeah, and what type? What kind of type? Am what I planned or one type? Uh, I would say planned. 
Oh, really? Yeah. Actually, I'm 100% unplanned traveler. Really? Yeah. But you've planned your outfit so well. You've got your little collar in. You've got a stripy <laughs> jumper. You oh, look really? very put together. <laughs> yeah, but actually, I, I, I like the unplanned travel mm. because I want to speak with native speaker. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So whenever I go another country, first thing is I find the most beautiful woman and ask about how can I get there? How can I get there? Because in Korea, if I ask to a woman, how can I get there? Yeah. It is strange situation. Oh, yeah. So it is impossible in Korea. Mm-hmm. But when I travel another country, yeah. so I freely ask to everyone about my English. So, oh, okay. Yeah, rather than plan everything, I want to be, just let it be in yeah. that place. Do you know, maybe going up to, going into another country, going up to the most beautiful woman is also strange. <laughs> it just doesn't feel strange because you're not in Korea. Yeah, but rather than in Korea, but in Korea, it is impossible. <laughs> I cannot ask about the Korean. Why? Why not? <laughs> yeah, I don't know, but in, it's strange if I ask Hyundai or Tokyo to the Korean woman. Why? Uh, that's just that's just your opinion. It's not strange. Uh, okay, I gotta try today. Yeah, yeah. After go and ask someone. Yeah, go and pretend that. that you don't know where Hyundai is. Say, excuse me, how do I get to Hyundai? <laughs> um, you're here already. Yeah, oh, fast. That was fast. I see. So you like to go and speak with the natives. You like to go in and really just get into the destination that you are sure. in, not yeah. just you know not planned trips and going here and there with a guide, for example. Yeah, makes sense because that's how you learn. Uh, a, a destination. That's yeah, where you learn yeah. a country. Interesting. Okay, so let's come back to Busan then. What about Busan's special features? What are, what makes Busan special compared to other places? So, well, you know, the nature is obviously speciality, like mm-hmm. a sea and mountain. Mm-hmm. And especially in Hewoljung, in Talmadge world, mm-hmm. you can enjoy both South and East Sea together at once at there. Mm-hmm. So it is one speciality. And Busan's food are also famous even among Koreans. So try yeah. to eat it. So what's your favorite Busan food? My favorite is uh, milmyeon. Milmyeon? Yeah. Uh, How about you? You look like dejigupap kind of guy. Yeah, but for the international traveler, mm-hmm. especially for the Muslims, so dejigupap is a pork. So, mm. And yeah, some people hate it because of the smell. So rather than dejigupap, uh, I prefer milmyeon for milmyeon. everyone. Oh, I like it. Or maybe dongne pajeon. Yeah, that's also good with the pongdongju. <laughs> pongdongju, yeah. a little bit of makgeolli. Sure, Sounds sure. good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay, so we are in the time of social distancing. Of course, yeah. we're, we've moved up to 2.5 tange. Um, so please recommend a place in Busan that we could visit during social distancing that is safe. And why should we visit there? Sure. So my option is Ilgwang and Imnang Beach mm. would be your best option mm-hmm, mm-hmm. because you can enjoy beach in your own car now mm. <gasps> what you can just go in your car park up enjoy yes for free nice. so there's no traffic jam and there's mm. no person actually yeah Songjong was best place but yeah. now it becomes so famous and crowded yeah. and so so let's I recommend Ilgang and Inlang to yeah. escape from crowded people yeah absolutely do you know Songdo was actually the most visited beach in the summer here in 2020 yeah. because people don't want to go to mm-hmm. Haeundae and Gwangalli yeah. because it's too crowded absolutely we're running out of time for the interview. So um, I'm sure you've got lots of international friends and there's so many things that we would love to share about Busan. So yeah. if there's anything that um, your international friends think about Busan or maybe they want to change something about Busan, what do you think that would be? Yeah, first of all, some of my friends said Busan need diversity in travel course. Mm. Like uh, Haeundae, Gwangalli, Nampodong would be good. Mm-hmm. But this is a little bit far away from real native's life. So yeah. it is time to reveal in a city like uh, Dongne or Dokcheon. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like that. Yeah, yeah. good. Nice. A little inter- inner inner city tour. Sure, oh, sure. And uh, we're running, we're right out of time now. So before we say goodbye, any shout outs for our listeners today? I wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. <laughs> Oh, that's nice. Sweet and simple. I love it. Well, listen, Dexter, it's been an absolute pleasure to have you in the studio. Please do check out the Visit Busan Notubu channel and you can check out Dexter's videos. You can also visit the website at www.visitbusan.net, N-E-T, and go and check out all these fantastic videos all about uh, Korean for international tourists and travellers. Dexter, what a pleasure. We'll see you soon. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. 